Adam, yeah. first year at the TT, looking forward to it? Yeah, nervous as well. <laughs> um, you know, we'll just take it as it comes, use it as you know a learning year, um, try and build as much knowledge as I can. But all in all, can't wait to get down Bray Hill. You've, you're another one of the talented short circuit men who then have since gravitated towards the roads where you can do a bit more riding, you can you can make a living if you if you do well. So, what took you down that that sort of path? Um, had a brick wall with short circuit racing yeah. as far as finances goes. So um, the option is road racing. You, there's more support from it, and um, you know it's an easier path to get down. And how, many, how much road racing have you done? Um, well, in two a lot back at home. Uh, 2015 was my first season in the roads. Road for Ryan Farquhar. Yeah. And did, did a few road races there, and did Scarborough. Yeah. And then last season was my first full year in the roads. So we won an Irish Championship. And Motor three. Yes. Did you start off on a one two five, then end up on a motor three, or did you do it all in a motor three? All, all in one two five. Ah, on I thought one. I thought you'd done some two strokes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So now we'll, we'll have been riding a row one two fives in BSB as well a few years ago. So um, no, no, I know the class well. The Alamans are a bigger. Uh, you've done some road racing, obviously yeah. done the old In fact, yeah. one of, when I was trying to find a little bit out about you, one of the things that was said was. They notice you because they never heard about you before, but they, they noticed because you were going reasonably well, I think, northwest. And then they said that your bike was, you had a really well turned out bike, immaculate setup, all yeah. kit looked really good. Yeah, yeah. Is that you? Yeah, yeah. So, um, no, the, the northwest was a bit of a disaster as well as the bikes were turned out with a few mechanical issues, right. but um, no, we, we had a good run at the Ulster. That might be Ulster, we saw you, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, we ran, ran the front grip, there were six of us, but um, just, just didn't the horsepower where I needed it. But all in all, it was a, a good race and it, you know, it showed a can run at the front of that class. The Isle of Man's a different challenge for you though. I mean, you've done Ulster, North West and the roads yeah. at home, yeah. which there's, there's quite a lot more road circuits yeah. in Ireland than people actually mm -hmm. know about in, in England. Yes. You don't know how many there is, I do, because I've, I've been to most yeah. of them. Uh, but this is a different challenge, the Isle of Man's a, a different yeah. thing. Totally different. Um, you know, it's, it's one of them things that's going to take years to learn the place and do the job right, which is another reason why I wanted to come. You know, I'm only, I'm only just turned 21. Yeah. You know, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to come so young is so, you know, I can take my time and learn the job properly because, you know, it's, it's the TT is such a long circuit and it's an unforgiving place and there's so much to it. You know, just, just take it all as it comes. How have you been learning? Have you been, are you a PlayStation man or a, a, a a video lap or a not not really you know more on board laps is good to come over yeah and do you know get as many laps in as you can and then go home and relay all the information you've learned on the on boards but when i'm over i like going out you know first thing in the morning when there's no traffic maybe four half four in the morning and then late at night as well and um another another reason i like going out at night is because you see all the elevation changes better um on the road but um no the learning's going well so, so far you've done your own work oh yeah yeah. And now you're ready for one of the all the newcomers have said uh, that the they've done so many laps, so many onboard laps. They've sat at home, they've they've been on the treadmill watching it, and they said now they're just ready to go. Um, yeah, I suppose that's similar to myself. I've got about eighty laps and so far. So, oh yeah, yeah. So we just keep banging them in from now to now to June, and we'll be dead on. Good lad, and and one of the other talented newcomers that because well, you look at it. But yeah, riders always say, oh, there's no pressure, it's my first year, you've got to learn it. Yeah. But there is a little bit, that you, you want to be amongst the quickest newcomers. Okay, every, everybody wants to be the fastest newcomer, but yeah. um, no, again, we'll just take it as it comes, and if it, if it comes well, it does. And if it... But one of, one of the other talented newcomers this year is a fella who lives about Hi. five miles from, Paul Jordan lives about five miles from you. Yeah, but he's just down the road, so... Have you raced with him before on one two fives? No. Yep. Yeah. I thought you would have done. Aye. Uh, you know, it's always close racing between me and Paul, but um, no, it's good. It's difficult to bring that rivalry to Isle of Man when there's so much more involved, and you know you've got to go and learn it and, and get it right, don't you? Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I'm, I'm not really thinking much about. You know, if, if he's quicker than me, then fair enough. We'll, we'll not. We'll not. Get that's exactly about what it. he said, and it, it's exactly the right attitude yeah. to come. You can't come here with any preconceived. You, maybe you can at Cadwell. Uh, own, I, uh, as I different. said before, it's, it's an unforgiving place and there's yeah. so much to it, so yeah. just take our time. When did you first get interested in doing the Alaman? Have you got family who's involved? A lot of people who come and do the TT have dads who race the TT or dads who, who were involved in it? Or No, it was more Sean Russell that manages the team. 
and on our side had said you know we'll, we'll think about doing the manx and then when when nick got involved it was it was then attention was turned to doing the tt so it's all came from that uh, up until up until last year i had, I had no plans to do it you know so soon it was always something i dreamed of doing but yeah um it sort of started to become a reality at the end of last season so have you watched roundy have you been in, stuck yourself in edge bottom and watched some racing um whenever the two seasons ago when i was riding for ryan i come over to the tt to give him a hand out now that, that was my first time here obviously completely blown away by the whole thing so uh, <laughs> ever since then you know i've, I've been watching on board laps and always had an interest in doing it but it it just it, it didn't seem as if it was going to be possible so soon. But um, uh, since next got involved, it's that's got a bit more serious. Yeah, yeah. But one of the things that if you come across here and help uh, establish rider yet like you did with with Ryan, you never get you always end up watching from the uh, pit straight. I didn't see past Putley in the whole time I was did there. That, no. This is always this happens. Yeah. Where normally I'd, I'd been across as a kid with my dad and we'd go and watch yeah. some of the sort of faster bits, you say like the real fast sections. So, you, so really you've only watched from... Well, well, it was over last season, just myself and my mum came over. Um, we, we watched it a few different places, but um, no, it was nice to experience that side of it before I started racing here. Um, it's just this whole spectacle of it, so no, it was good. Bike-wise, you shouldn't have any worries because MSS and Nick Morgan yep. know exactly what they're doing. Yep, yep. No, the 600 will be more than competitive. It'll be top-class bike. And then we have the Honda Performance Super Twin. Again, the same bike I was riding last year um, for the Super Twin race. So, no, it'll be well sorted with bikes. Is this like a long-term plan for you? Because, like you say, you're only 21. And you, can you see yourself here in winning races in, you know, 10, 12, 15 years' time? Because... Road racing is one of the things that you you can do it a, seem to be able to do it a lot longer than than you can short circuit. Um, that that obviously is the, the long term plan. As you know, ambition is to get that far to to be winning races someday. But um, no, that was again the reason I wanted to come so young. As I'm looking at it as a long term plan to just take my time in the next few years and learn it. And you know, maybe by the time I'm 25, say, or 26, I'll, I'll know exactly where I'm going and be competitive. Do you think then. there's an heritage that helps you? Because uh, more than a few TT winners, riders, legends have been Northern Irish. It's a, it's a big thing for you. Do you think that helps or does it hinder you? Do you think there's a bit of an expectation um, comes with it? Not so much because, because there's that many you know, road racing so big at home and there is that many good riders. It's sort of there's not as big a fuss made about a certain person going because there is that many good riders from our part of the world. So, you know, maybe if you're from somewhere completely different where road racing isn't as big, there'll be a bigger deal made and a bit of you know ambition, pressure behind a rider. But now where we're from, it's sort of just the normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you really looking forward to getting down that road? Um, I <laughs> just I'm just nervous, ner nervous, and um, just. It's wondering what I'm going to expect. There's a lot involved in doing a TT that people don't understand, and a lot of the a lot of it is kind of mental. It's not just getting a bike or getting yeah. a team and getting here yeah. or booking your ferry. It's a, it's, it's one of the one of the biggest challenges you'll ever you'll ever, ever face in your life in any sport. Yeah, yeah. No, Good luck. That is the ultimate. You take your time. Good luck. Thank you very much.